Thus, my no least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Well. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our Indian board? Only on business. Next on our board, the vacation agent. Why goes to its private estate for vacation? In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer and secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You'll... I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Grape presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. See that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. So, this is what the little guy feels like. Nope, all good. Looks like one for the mat. Any further questions? Ask away. your colleague. Urgent Ooh, call. Something boss. about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente.